a beautiful day at Duffy Bass Field. The Redbirds taking on the Panthers next right here on the WJBC Country Financial Illinois State Radio Network on 103.3 WZND. All right, why don't you call them up? We'll get going here. Hey, here we go. We're ready. Remember, hey, it's not this way. It's this way. What if you try to power feed and you end up with a change-up grip because you're trying to grab the ball from over here? But if you square that sucker up right in the middle of your glove, it comes out easy. But if you clank it around, so that's why it's so important to really work your feet and get everything set up early so it's centered up in your glove and then boom, it's out of your hand. Here we go. It's not bad, Danny. Not bad. Pretty tough pitch coming out. A junior, number 40, Mitch Weiss. Weiss throwing for your Redbirds. Here we go, right hander. Got a strike, kid. Starter Mitch Weiss cruises through the first inning. And bats come alive in the bottom half. The early 1 0 lead quickly chases Eastern starter Cole Berry. Uh, this is my roommate this summer. Who was? This guy coming in. Who is it? Jake Johansmeyer. Oh, right. Hey, Wisconsin Rapids. They're kind of what he got. He's got Wait. Good off speed. He's your roommate? He's my roommate in Wisconsin Rapids. Before you went down to? Yeah, before Kokomo, that, yeah. Kokomo, okay. Yep. What does he have? Um, his fastball's not too hard. He spots it up pretty well. He's got a good changeup. He throws a righty, if I remember. Okay. A little slider, too, if I remember right. Okay. All right, hey. This guy's got a decent breaking ball buzz set. They were roommates together this summer, so let's look for a ball in the dirt here. Got a right-handed hitter with a base open. Probably going to see some breaking balls here. Okay, come on out here. Trust your eyes. Here's the 1-1. One, one. That one is hit over the second baseman's head. That is a little blooper and will fall into right field. Hey, Sean. Hey, boy. Here's the 1-1. One, one. This one hit to the second baseman. He makes a nice play and throws the first in time to end the inning as Dwyer gets robbed of a base hit by the great play by Hinneman at second base. So one hit in the inning for the Redbirds. No runs, and we head to the third. That was a good play. Yeah. yeah. Late hop. The birds continue to hold the 1-0 lead but the Panthers get things going in the fourth. Vogren looking to induce a ground ball. Here's the pitch. This one is a liner into left field. This one might get over the head of Daniel Dwyer. It will. Dwyer was running back on it, tried to make the over-the-shoulder catch. Can't do so. One run is going to score. Taylor is coming in. The throw to the plate. It is late as Perron scores and gives Eastern the lead. Here's the 0-2, the runner from first is off. The pitch is swung on and missed. It's in the dirt, so Zorce is gonna have to throw over to first. He does in time. Two runs, one hit, no errors, two left. He rips one down the left field line. That one will be good for a single. Molitor's thinking two though, and he's gonna have it sliding, Molitor. Not as slow as he looks. Here's the 0 1 hit right at the third baseman. The throw's got to go to home, and now Molitor is in a pickle. The catcher has it. He keeps pump faking and throws it to the third baseman, and Topple tags out Molitor. Here's the pitch. Hendricks off. Beasley's taken all the way, and he takes that one for strike three, and that'll end the inning. The Redbirds get one hit in the inning, no runs, and we head to the fifth. All right, keep stinging it, boys. Keep stinging it. Good things are going to happen. Come on. The score remains 2-1 to one through the middle innings as hits become sparse as the wind picks up. Oh, and hit that ball okay? I thought he did. I thought he had more in there than that. Not today. That one is inside, and that's going to be a... That hits. That actually hit Gaspar Owen. <laughs> Yeah, go get him. Okay. 
Time. The birds get in trouble in the eighth and turn to veteran Jack Landwehr to keep the deficit at one. Right in at during the junior, junior number 18, Jack Landwehr. Two outs, top of the eighth. Two to one lead for the Panthers. Here's the pitch. Nice pitch and a boy. Squeeze it, Shane. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Yes, sir. And Beasley makes the catch. So Landwehr comes out of the bullpen and gets out of the bases loaded jam. Despite Landwehr's efforts, the bats are unable to deliver, and the birds drop the midweek showdown. One, two pitches swung on and missed, and the Redbirds lose this one at two to one. Um, three walks on the game, three strikeouts. I can live with that. We're not walking guys. It gives us a chance. Um, we're just in a funk right now where if we give up two, we score one. If we give up five, we score four. The next two days will be largely offensive practices. We're going to go back to some, some drills that we would do inside in January and February. And uh, if we can continue to just hold serve with our pitchers and they keep doing what they're doing, and if we can somehow manage to score five or six runs a game like we're doing during the year, we got a chance to turn this thing around pretty quickly. Three, one, two, three. Oh.